As we were going through the piping lessons, you might have noticed that we always opened the piping folder for parts in our design library. However, there is an entire separate library of parts that can be specifically referenced with the creation of tube. This can be accessed in the tubing dropdown in the design library. So just as before, we'll go under routing, but this time instead of clicking on this piping folder, I'm going to click the tubing dropdown. Now, you'll see some similar features like flanges and tees, and some different folders as well like tube fittings and tubes. Since tubing has different purposes, it also has different fittings in the design library, but it definitely needs some similar things like flanges and tees. Now, over here in this block, I've added in some various tube fittings that are unique to tubing. If I click into the tube fittings file, you'll see that some of the ones I've added in are some male pipe connectors that you'll see over here, as well as a straight fitting. So these can easily be dragged and dropped in just like flanges, and when they're dropped in, they will automatically start your route if you have that option selected up in your options menu, just like you did for piping. Now, when you go into the tubes folder, you'll see that there's only one here, but this tube file can be used to represent everything from copper to rubber tubing. I'm gonna right click on this and open it, just to take a look at the various configurations that it has available. So up here in our configuration manager, you can access both the design table and all the various configurations of tube. And you'll see available to us is tube all the way down to 0 0.062 inches outer diameter and all the way up to eight inches. So there is a very wide variety of tube configurations that are available. Again, you can add to this as well if you wanted to edit the design table, just like we did with the piping. So I'm gonna X out of this and go ahead back to our assembly here. Now you'll see that tube was used here to create this flexible tubing based on this spline that was generated. Now let's go ahead and just pull one fitting into our design just to take a look at the similarities to doing so in piping. I'm gonna go ahead and pull on this tubing branch T and drop that in and select OK to that configuration. You'll see we have a route properties menu come up. I'll go over some of these options in the next video, but for now let's just click OK. And I'm gonna go ahead and save and save internally. And you'll see come out of all ends of our T, we have stub lengths just like we did with T's and piping. So now that we have some pieces that we can connect, let's go ahead and start making some tube.